So let's do the download category function for our class as well. So right before my save function, I'm going to put a mark. I'm going to call this download category. from Firebase, so I say func, and I'm going to call this download categories from Firebase. This function is not going to return anything, so we just get rid of it, but it's going to have some parameters. So um, I want to have a callback function because our uh, access to our Firebase and downloading something from our Firebase is going to happening in the background. So once our task in background finishes, we want to be notified about, uh, about this so we can refresh our view. So I'm going to say uh, completion. And say at escaping. And let's put our parameters here. And I'm going to say category array is my uh, parameter name. And it's going to be an array of categories. So once everything is downloaded and saved, we're going to return an array of category object. And here I'm going to say we are returning void. In our case, we're not returning anything there. Okay. so. Let's write our code in order to get everything from our Firebase, convert them to a category array and uh, call our callback function here. First of all, I'm going to create a variable called category array. And I'm going to tell this is going to be an array of categories and currently initialize it with an empty array. So once we download and create categories, we are going to put every category that we created in this uh, array, and then we're going to return this. So uh, let's access our uh, Firebase reference, and I'm going to access category because this is what I want to return. And then I'm going to say get document, and we're going to get these documents. Click enter. And we're going to have two values back. One is a query snapshot, the other one is error. So I'm going to call my first variable snapshot and error. So once this callback happens, we want to check if our snapshot actually exists before we continue. Because if there is nothing saved on our Firebase, there is nothing we are going to get back. So we want to make sure our application doesn't crash when there is nothing in our Firebase. So I'm going to say uh, guard let snapshot is equals to snapshot, which is the value here. Else we are going to tell our callback that we are finished. So I'm going to say uh, completion and I'm going to return my category array, which is currently an empty array. And we're going to say a return, so we exit our function. So there's nothing happens, we just return an empty array there. Uh, if, however, this is not true, well, we do have a snapshot, we're not going to return. We're going to do another check. We're going to check if our snapshot has any value in it. So we say if, snapshot is empty and we're going to check if it's not empty so it means we have something there and then i'm going to uh, access my category array i'm going to append a new element and here i'm going to initialize a category on a fly so i'm going to say category and use my dictionary here and i'm going to say category dictionary actually uh, we are missing one line here 
when our snapshot is not empty, we have an array of documents. And if you look here, we will have all these documents. So we need to go one by one. So if it's not empty, I'm going to say for category dictionary in snapshot dot documents. And we can see that our documents is an array of query document snapshot. So we say for category dictionary in snapshot documents. I'm copying, cutting this code and pasting it here. And now my dictionary is going to be my category dictionary dot data, which as you can see is an, a key value pair. So this is a dictionary. And I need here to specify that this is as NS dictionary because our uh, category initializer accepts NS dictionary here. So what we are do doing is appending a new category to our array. And once we are done with our for loop, uh, what I want to do is to say completion. So we call our completion and we're going to pass our category array, which in our case already has appended every single category that we have downloaded from our Firebase. And then it will just pass it through to our function call. So this is how many, how we are going to get our category from our Firebase. So let me uh, just put the print statement here to see if our function is working. I'm going to say uh, created new category with name and I'm going to pass a name here. Let me just, uh, actually let's, let's keep this part for other time. So we are going to print a create a new category here. So let's go to our view did load function here, command B just to make sure our code is ready. I'm going to call the function download category from Firebase. And uh, let's build again because our autocomplete doesn't work. And I'm guessing this is because of our beta Xcode, Firebase. And this category is from Firebase. copy and paste to make sure we have it right. The Xcode is refusing to do the autocomplete, but it's okay, we're going to type it. And then we pass our variable name here, all categories. I'm going to say in, and then we are going to get uh, our code back. And I'm going to print here, uh, print, and say code back. Okay, and let's run our application. And it's running. Let's see how many categories we have created. For every time we say create a new category with, okay. And once everything is created, we see callback is completed. So our function here is being called and everything is ready. So we have access to all the categories there. So um, everything is running smoothly. I'm going to stop this. And also we are not going to need this code uh, anymore. Okay, uh, so we have our uh, category class here, which allows us to save and retrieve our categories. I'm going to get rid of the print statement from here as well. 
so that uh, from our next lecture we can start working on our category collection view controller to actually start and display all the categories that we are getting from our Firebase.